Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video we are going to talk about PyTorch and Keras, okay? So these are very different uh, frameworks, I would say. Uh, Keras is not a framework per se, but you can use um, other frameworks on top of it. On top of it. So um, let's start by talking about um, why Keras or, or why PyTorch. So First of all, let's start with PyTorch, uh, which has a concise API. The API of PyTorch is pretty, uh, I would say, consistent and easy to understand. Um, you can come here on tutorials and you're gonna see lots of examples on how to use PyTorch. I'm gonna make some videos on PyTorch soon, so uh, keep. Uh, Okay, so let's go. Um, um, PyTorch, as I said before, is very fast, um, has distributed training. Uh, on the video, I talked about uh, PyTorch versus TensorFlow. It's Python first, which it has, which means that it has a deep integration with Python, which is, and also PyTorch is very Pythonic, which is a good thing also. So PyTorch is mainly used for um, NLP, uh, and I've I've seen some uh, research on pr mainly on um, image processing. Uh, okay, so that's that's are the strong points of PyTorch uh, and Keras. I think the main point of Keras it is it's is usability. So you guys can see that it's very friendliness. Um, it has modularity. It's easy to extend, uh, to ex extend uh, work with Python. <laughs> okay, so that's a R version of Keras as well. So I think Keras, the main point is very easy to create a model. So in Keras, you just uh, define a model, compile, and you fit the data. Uh, there's a method called fit, which is very convenient, um, that you just pass your data through it and it will train your model very quickly. So, um, and Kara supports various um, deep learning frameworks. So, let's say if you want to try to use TensorFlow, which is used by default, and also Keras is inside of TensorFlow now. So, Keras is going to be the main API for TensorFlow um, uh, users, and there's also CNTK. Uh, CNTK is was created by Microsoft and has like um, deep um, um, distributed training API. So CNTK aims for larger scale um, deep learning. There's also Fiano, which is unfortunately is dead. So let's let's just open up the GitHub page for Tiano. Yay! Fiano was I think the first uh, major deep learning framework back in 2013 I don't remember exactly but yeah it here it says three years old the the file yeah but Fiano is quite old I think it was the first major uh, deep learning framework they don't say here that project's dead, but the project's pretty much dead. So, okay, so what should you learn first? Well, if you are a beginner, I would go with Keras because it's easier than PyTorch. Um, and there is some very convenient ways. Uh, for example, the, the fit method. Uh, so if you just need to iterate your data using the fit method is very, easy to do in PyTorch you need to create a for loop uh, for the epochs and then you need to iterate over your data but in Keras you don't need to do that so it's way easy in Keras but if you are working with NLP that's a different case because PyTorch has a dynamic uh, has a dynamic computation graph so that's that's uh, one way to one thing to look for. Yeah, I I, I would go with Keras first, Keras first, and if you don't, if you feel that you don't have your needs uh, satisfied, you can try PyTorch. Okay, so that's 
that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video see you guys next time